now we see the humble native worm wandering across the road for no reason other than to get to the other side. He looks right, he looks left, and he continues his slow struggle along the path to success. Or maybe he's just a worm and that's not really thinking anything that's fine. Hey guys, and welcome back to another <laughs> Minecraft Jurassic World. And today we are back here once again for another episode and it's time Wow, loud noises around here. My God, I think it's the, the Triceratops in there. They're all kind of growing up a little bit. Um, so, as you can see, the exhibit is finally finished. Now, luckily, the ground wasn't too hilly, so I was able to get it pretty flat, relatively sharpish. Um, the only thing that took a little bit of time was the mountain. But because we already cut down to there for Rexy's exhibit, um, taking out that little chunk took about the same time as that one, so it really wasn't that that much of an effort. Um, we managed to use a little bit of TNT to blow some, some areas up and stuff, and it ended up being pretty quick, actually. So welcome back. The exhibit, in fact, I'll tell you what, I need to show you something really cool about this exhibit, because this is now where the Triceratops are going to live. We're going to have to move them in. Um, which means that the next episode will be the episode that you guys can give your name suggestions for our Triceratops. But you've got to wait for that episode, don't forget. Um, the grasses, as you can see, are starting to slowly grow in. It takes a little while for the, the entire exhibit to be kind of like grown up. But look what I found. Look at this. I thought that the, um, the, the cliff face looked a, bit, a little bit bare, so I managed to find this instead. The Triceratops Territory Sign. I found a bunch of them, actually, back at the old lab. So if we want to use them, we can use them for any of our exhibits. And it's a nice little kind of... It's just a nice, like, added touch to make this, this exhibit that much more interesting, I think. So I'm pretty happy with it anyway. I hope you guys like it as well. Anyway, today is a very exciting day because today... We are making the actual exhibit for the Triceratops and also moving Rexy or thinking about moving Rexy. I was quite sensible this time round. Um, I did, I did, there's some good stuff has happened and some bad stuff has happened, guys. So it depends on... Okay, so it's a one tree thing, but that's fine. Maple is beautiful, so we're okay with that. And I've just sort of dot them in as and where they can go. I haven't really thought too much about where we're going to put the trees but we'll put them in i'm going to also probably add a little bit of like hilly kind of stuff but they are they are triceratops they're not exactly going to be wanting to live on anything apart from sort of flatter planes right don't forget to leave your suggestions if you think there's anything else that i could do a little bit differently i always like to hear what you guys think so do let me know but in terms of this exhibit like i I think it's going to be reasonably sparse. We might end up putting in a, a, a bit of a water feature as well, but I haven't 100% decided exactly how that's going to work yet. So you'll have to wait and see. But the good news is the exhibit went off without a hitch. All the lights and everything are all organized. The wiring's in for if we case you wanted to, to power it or anything like that. So that's good news. The bad news, because there is a little bit of bad news, is that I managed to log on today to find that for some reason, and I don't I don't really have an answer for you as to why this has happened, for some reason Rexy has gone back to being a baby. A little baby dinosaur. It's like that 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 if you ever saw that movie, Honey I Shrunk the Kids. It's kinda like that. Rexy has been shrunk down back to being a baby size. Um not in stature, just in literally has gone back to being like really, really young. So there she is. Still got the same name and everything, so I'm not quite sure what's going on. But yeah, Rexy has regressed back to being a little baby. Las Bebes. I'm going to get down to get a nice little photo here. Look. Oh, she really, she's like thinking to myself, why? Why am I not a baby anymore? What happened to me? Wow. Oh, okay, that's a bit scary that she does that. <laughs> oh, okay, so yeah, it's not the best situation in the world. Now, the, good, the, the kind of good news is that I can actually now keep her in this little tiny exhibit that we've got here this little corner pit just for not for for ages just for a couple of days whilst we sort out where rexy's going to live um this is a nice sort of scattering of trees around here for the triceratops so that's looking really really nice i can go ahead and use the rest of this bone meal on just making this place look a bit nicer once it's all all is said and done we'll go ahead and do that and make it all well organized and stuff 
Um, so that's fine. And then, once we've named and put the dinosaurs into here, we can go straight into working on the Tyrannosaurus exhibit and do things slightly different. Rather than hatching the dinosaurs, then working on the exhibit, then naming the dinosaurs, for this one, we need to make the exhibit first so we can move Rexy before we can work on the other Tyrannosaurus Rex. So it makes sense in my head that we take Rexy and we make the exhibit, we put her in and hatch the other dinosaurs and then name those dinosaurs. So it's going to be slightly different, but that also means that the fifth dinosaur is going to have to wait for a little while because we want to put some more Tyrannosaurus Rex together to see what happens. Because I'm very interested to find out whether or not they will actually live together or not. But anyway, that's nice and straightforward. Things actually haven't gone too badly. We will go ahead and use a bit of this bow meal here to kind of keep things moving. What are you what, what are you doing sticking your head through the thingy? You've got to be careful there. Who, who, which one are you? You're Bob. Bob the Brachiosaurus. Just be careful, Bob. I don't want you to hurt your head, okay? You've got to try and stay calm and look after yourself a little bit. Right. Okay, and that's the little portal, the nether portal, making a little bit of noise there. Um, let's check on the Triceratops. Make sure these guys are doing okay before we go on any further here. What have we got here? Yeah, you're doing well. You're doing well. Okay. Now, they do seem to be actually fine, which is good. They've got a little bit of sun in the evenings, which I think is a nice thing to give them. A little bit of kind of bonus uh, breeze, bonus sun support. You know, it's, it just looks nice, right? It just looks nice. It's good. <laughs> no, I like it, honestly. I really feel like these exhibits are coming along really nicely now. I hope you guys agree. Let's go ahead and just add a little bit more bone meal, uh, and then we can think about getting one of you guys on our Jurassic Road. But yeah, so it's a good news, bad news today, which just kind of means that we've got a bit more work to do. Good news being that this exhibit is looking great. It's working really nicely, and we can get loads of nice grasses in here. We'll add some more as the you know various different bits and pieces grow. But for now, like it's looking pretty cool. Uh, the bad news is that I don't know how it happened, but Rexy has resorted to a small baby, and we're going to have to spend some time looking after her as she grows once again. But I think, to be honest with you, it's kind of not a bad thing. Because it means that Rex is going to be a similar age to the hatched Tyrannosaurus Rex dinosaurs that we have. I mean, she's not going to be, like, exactly the same age. She'll be a little bit older, which means that obviously she can be the older sister and kind of look after all the other dinosaurs that are coming into the exhibit. But it's still, you know, it's still it's something that we need to kind of keep an eye on and make sure that everyone's safe and that everyone's happy. And I'm kind of happy with that anyway. So that's perfect. All right. Well... This is looking nice. We've got a few kind of grasses. There's some taller grasses that we can get as well if we want to. It's relatively easy to make them. You can just, if you just keep on clicking this down, I'll use up the rest of what we've got here just to make a few taller grasses. So if they want to, they can sort of spin through there. Need to make some more bone meal. We need to get some more skeletons so we can make some more. <laughs> but I hope you guys agree that it's looking pretty nice. It is a shame that Rexy has, has shrunk. But as I said before, silver lining. She can look after all of her brothers and sisters and not be absolutely massive whilst she does it as well. So that's a pretty good thing. And yes, so that means that we'll move the, um, the Triceratops between episodes and give you guys a chance to put your name suggestions down for the Triceratops. There's five Triceratops to name, and that'll be on the next episode. So we'll come back and do that for you guys then, and we can decide how that goes. So, without further ado... Let's go ahead and add somebody here. I need to go ahead and get my phone out so I can do this all correctly and get things pretty much sorted. Hold up here. Uh, give me two ticks here. I need to get the right app up because I haven't got the right thing up. Okay. All right. So let's see what person deserves to have their character put in here. Um, Jay Andrew was talking last week about the fact that we managed to get the shaders working, which is exciting. So thank you, Jay Andrew, for leaving a comment on our videos. Your name is E E R A S C H Y Y R Erasure. I think that's how you say that. There we go. Perfect. Right. Okay. Is that a character? Do you have a skin? You do. Fantastic. Okay. So your movement needs to be. 270 but then minus 35 which is 235 
Ah, perfect. There you go. So he's looking in the corner. See? Simple maths, guys. Simple maths. That's perfect. Right. Okay. So, we've got ourselves our new person added into our Jurassic Road. We're going to have to make some more of these lanterns on the next episode. But hold fire, guys, because that will be happening on the next episode next time. Until then, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you soon. I love you. Goodbye. You've been watching the Gafcast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos. 